Within all the talks about the Vikings quarterback options in the draft, could Dorian Thompson Robinson be a sleeper prospect that could thrive at the next level? Let's talk about it. The fifth year senior is projected to be a mid to late round pick, which I know some may have Kellen Mond PTSD just thinking about that, but every player is different. DTR last season with the Bruins completed 70% of his passes, over 3,100 yards, 27 touchdowns to 10 interceptions, and that's just through the air. He also added over 600 yards and 12 touchdowns on the ground. Very impressive. Obviously, we're talking about a dual threat quarterback here. When the pocket collapses, he stays alert while still looking downfield for the passing opportunity. And when necessary, he's crafty with his legs to keep the play alive. And I respect his awareness in velocity selection. So on short play designs, he puts on the straight line bullet passes. But when throwing the ball downfield, he puts together, in my humble opinion, just the perfect combination of velocity and arc. It's a thing of beauty. And I also think it's a big reason why so often his receivers were able to make plays in stride. Rarely did you see his playmakers having to stop, slow down, or ad lib in their routes. Those type of throwing mechanics, that's a serious skill set. And at times, maybe he can get happy feet anticipating pressure that just really isn't there in the first place. But he's a solid prospect. And just like any prospect, good coaching can make all the difference in the world. I feel the same about DTR as I do about Jaron Hall out of BYU. In fact, maybe I like Hall just a little bit better just because he's super deceptive with his execution. You don't know if the ball got handed off or if it's a designed quarterback run or if the pass is coming. He's got a Houdini-like way with his body mechanics, sort of like Jalen Hurts, the type of thing that at times will have a defense second-guessing themselves in the middle of a play. But say you draft either one of those guys in the fourth round, DTR or Jaron Hall, there's virtually zero risk. Half of every draft class is going to flame out anyway, regardless of the position that they play. And we can focus on the Kellen Mond disaster, but Brock Purdy, last player selected in the draft, Russell Wilson before the train wreck he was last season, one of the top quarterbacks in the league, he was a third round pick. So when talking quarterbacks in this draft after Bryce Young, I like Hendon Hooker, Jaron Hall, DTR. Maybe I'll extend an olive branch to Tanner McKee, maybe, but that's where it ends. I'm not interested in Stetson Bennett or Max Duggan. The shop is closed. But drafting DTR in the fourth round, hypothetically speaking, you're still able to add immediate impact players early without sacrifice. Trade down between 30 and 32 for a receiver in the first, get a second, go defensive line, linebacker or corner in the third, DTR or Jaron Hall in the fourth, no harm, no foul. And once you get in the fifth round, it's even more of a crapshoot anyway. But whoever the team feels is their guy, go and get him. Understanding that standing pat or trading down before drafting a quarterback, there's really not that much pressure, at least I don't think so anyway. It's different if you trade up specifically in the first because in that scenario, you're basically attaching your whole reputation to that guy. It's two weeks till draft night. We'll see what unfolds. And we're back to comments time. Sizzle Man says, first off, Chick-fil-A, yuck. Second, could the Vikings trade up? Sure. Should they? Absolutely not. The cost is way too high for that jump. If you get a dud, then you're screwed for the next four years. Where's all this hate from Chick-fil-A coming from? Name a fast food joint that puts out a better chicken sandwich than Chick-fil-A. And, well, you're black. Of course you like chicken sandwiches. Well, that's ridiculous. Have you tasted their food? It's amazing. But if you do want to go that route, then you should really take my word for it. Who else would know better than me? Now, to your second point, I agree. I'm all the way committed to team trade back. If you trade up in the first round and you screw it up, then everybody gets fired. It doesn't matter what big vocabulary that Quasi Adafo Mensa uses. You have to see results. Next comment by John Beckish, Zedarius Smith for Patrick Queen. I would love that trade. I don't know if Baltimore would like it just because Zedarius Smith reneged on a free agent offer from Baltimore last offseason before coming to the Minnesota Vikings. So if you can convince Baltimore of that, a player for player swap, I'm all for it. And last comment by Zach Hulane, draft Chick-fil-A, my pleasure. Exactly. 
not only is their food amazing, which by the way, Chick-fil-A, they're not paying me to say this, but their customer service is equally as great. Furthermore, when I go to a fast food joint or a restaurant or wherever the hell, I want to do business with a staff that is usually in a good mood versus a place where the staff is always having a crappy day. So if the Vikings draft Chick-fil-A, aka Bryce Young, I will be happy as hell, to which Quasi Adolfo Mensa will say, my pleasure. <laughs>